and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mackenzie Marie. During this quarantine, I've been scrolling through my TikTok feed like no tomorrow. My For You page has been deeply, severely overused because I do not stop scrolling on it. And I found some really awesome recipes on TikTok and I decided, you know what, I'm gonna try them out. All today, I'm only going to be eating foods that I found off of TikTok. Yesterday, I was scrolling on my For You page and I found four recipes that I can eat for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a snack somewhere in between that. So let's get to cooking. This video has 15 million views. It's how to make the easiest, simplest breakfast quesadilla that's going to taste mwah, amazing. First, I'm gonna cook some bacon. When the bacon's cooking, crack two eggs. Oh God, oh no, I was not thinking. <gasps> I've never done that before. <laughs> wow! I was always like, how do people do that? I could never do that. I'm a chef. And whisk. Mmm, delicious. I'm gonna add some cheese. Plop a tortilla on it. And flip. Beautiful. Add some more cheese. And then add your bacon. This is starting to look so yummy. Then plop another, oh. Plop another tortilla on top of that. And flip. I just finished making the breakfast quesadilla and I'm not gonna lie, I did take a bite of it already and it was so good. You guys, look at this. That was literally so easy to make. It took me like five minutes and it was so, so yummy. This is like such an easy hack. I got some tapatio. I'm gonna just, you know, sauce it up. If you try this at home, let me know. Currently it's like 4 p.m. and I haven't had lunch yet, so right now we're going to make lunch. During this time of being like inside, I haven't gone out to get like any food, eat any like takeout food, nothing. And one thing that I really miss is Taco Bell Crunchwrap Supreme. So when I found this TikTok, I was like over the moon. I was like, oh my God. I can make a Crunchwrap Supreme in my own kitchen. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna do it. That's on period. And honestly, it looks pretty easy, so let's try it out and let's make some Taco Bell for lunch. To make my crunch wrap supreme, I'm going to need some big tortillas, tostada shells. Is, this, is that what you call it? A tostada shell? Is that what this is? Ground beef. I'm using the lean kind because that other stuff is nasty. Taco seasoning, cheese, some hot sauce, sour cream, lettuce, and tomato. And that's everything. So let's get started. First, I gotta cook up some ground meat. I'm gonna pour half of the taco seasoning in here. Once the meat was done cooking, I put it in this little container like this. I'm using giant tortillas because I need this to wrap all the way around the little tostada thingy, the crunchy, that thing, the tostada crunchy, you know what I mean. First you put down the meat and then you add some cheese. Take your tostada and plop it on the top. Then I'm gonna use some sour cream and put it on top of the tostada. Now I'm gonna add some lettuce. Then I add some tomatoes and some more cheese. This is the tricky part. I didn't have a small tortilla, so I'm cutting a circle to make a smaller tortilla to put on top of that. So when we fold it over, the entire crunch wrap is sealed beautifully. That should do, that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. So I place this on top of here. I push it down and then it's the crunch wrap fold. So I'm guessing you go like this. You go like this. Oh my God, it's starting to look like a crunch wrap. Are you serious right now? Oh my God. I literally am making a crunch wrap. What? Look at this. <gasps> I'm a master chef. Oh my God, I literally made a crunch wrap. Now I'm gonna cook it. Pick it up and I just toss it in there like that and just sear it on the bottom so it's shut. That looks just like Taco Bell. Right, I'm telling you. I know at Taco Bell they use this thing that looks like a panini press and they press her. Flip. <gasps> it's beautiful. This is insane. Do you see that? That's literally a Crunchwrap Supreme. Look at how gorgeous that is. Oh my gosh, I gotta eat this now. Here she is in all of her glory. I can't wait to try this. Can we just admire how beautiful those folds are? Oh my God. Oh my God. This tastes 
exactly like a French wrap supreme. Like, exactly. What the f I just cut it in half and literally look how beautiful that is. This is insane. If there's anything you try out in this video, you need to try this crunch wrap supreme at home because it is literally the exact thing like it tastes exactly the same i'm gonna start making these at home now taco bell you are canceled little time has passed i've moved over to my sweatpants to stay comfy because once it hits like 5 p.m my ass is not going to be found in any type of jeans but i'm hungry and i want to have a snack before i have dinner and i wanted to have some a little bit sweet so one of my favorite places to go in the world is literally Disneyland and when I found this girl's video on TikTok, I was like I have to try that out she literally makes the Disneyland churros at home so today we're making Disneyland churros at home I know that churros aren't like a good snack food but honestly it's quarantine and anything goes baby so if you want to have some churros at 5 p.m. do it do it. So let's get to cooking these churros. Back at the stove, I got everything over here that I'm gonna need to use. Oh, just all the water, all the water's everywhere. We're just gonna pretend like my stove top doesn't look that disgusting as it is. So, thumbs this video up if yours looks the same. One cup of water, heat on medium, half a cup of butter. Ooh. Let her melt. Now that it's all melted down, I'm gonna add sugar, flour, and you whisk. Now I just mix it together. I put it in a bowl like this because that's what the girl did in the video, so I guess that's right. I'm gonna mix it together so it's not clumpy. She's steaming. I'm going to have my assistant drop an egg in it. Thank you very much, assistant. I really hope this tastes like the churros from Disneyland because I've been missing Disneyland so much. I think I'm ready to pipe out some churros now. I have some leftover cinnamon sugar. I'm gonna put this on a plate. I'm gonna add some more sugar because I like mine more sugary. The girl does hers with a piping bag and a tip like this and she just puts the mixture inside of here and then she pipes it out. So I'm gonna try to do that. I've never done this before, so I don't know how well this is going to go. There, like that. I'm gonna start with this much and see if I can get it down. If not, I have a lot left over. I'm just going to pipe out the noodle. Oh my God, that looks so good. Oh my gosh, this is actually so easy. I'm kind of surprised. Look at that. Wow, this is actually so much fun. What the heck? This is kind of scary. Oh my God, but they're cooking up real good. Look at those churros. Oh my gosh, I'm making Disneyland churros at home. Don't stick, don't stick, don't stick. Y'all need a social distance. You're getting far too close to each other. Once they're done, I'm gonna grab this and drop them in here. So you know what it is. Toss them, roll it. Oh my God, it looks so beautiful. Voila, oh my God. It looks like a Disneyland churro. Wow. I just pulled the churros out. They're still warm, so let's try it and see how they taste. Oh my gosh. It tastes just like a Disneyland one. Oh my gosh. Do you hear them crunch? It's so good. What the heck, dude? This is so good. I just made Disneyland churros in my household. Mm. Does it taste like Disneyland? Oh my god, what is that? It's just a churro. It's a TikTok thing. Oh my god. It's so good. You're welcome. You guys, you should totally try this out at home. Just follow the recipe that I put in this video and you will be set. It is so simple, it's so easy. And if you do try it out, send me your pictures on Instagram because I wanna see how your churros came out. I'm pretty full, I'm gonna see you guys for dinner. So for dinner, I came across this guy's video of him showing you how to make a homemade pizza from scratch. The dough, the sauce, everything. So now let's make some pizza for dinner. One cup of warm water, instant yeast, and mix it together. Now I set it aside for five minutes. Now I have a bowl, I'm gonna add some flour, salt and sugar, and a whisk. Now I'm gonna take this yeast combo and pour it in here. Oh God, this looks gross. Is this really how they make pizza? Why is she using the wrong side of the spoon? There's gonna be way too many comments that say that. Now I take it out of here, 
Now I now <laughs> put it on here. Oh, it feels nice. Oh, I'm gonna put it in this. So I took this tomato sauce, and while I was waiting, I made myself my own sauce. And I also rolled out my pizza dough. I'm gonna just decorate my pizza now. And then, you know, just might as well just, yep, the whole bag. Just gonna add some peps on my pizza. I'm saving this part for my mom. She doesn't like pepperonis. This is looking like a whole pizza. I really just made a pizza from scratch right now. I really hope this tastes good. Here's my pizza that I made from scratch. I am so proud of this. Mmm, it's so fresh. Mm, it tastes so good. I think it tastes even better because it's made from home. I love pizza. I made pizza. I'm a chef today. I'm actually really surprised with how all of these recipes came out, and I guess TikTok recipes do actually really work. Well, at least the ones that I tried today. I don't know about all of them. I can't speak for those people. My favorite was definitely the Crunchwrap Supreme. If you try that one out, please let me know, and if there's any of these recipes that you should try, it's definitely that one. I'm going to be live streaming today, this Friday, at 6 p.m. Pacific Coast time, so if you want to come watch me live, I'll have a link in the description down below. I'm gonna be on Twitch TV slash Mackenzie M. Marie for like three hours streaming some of my favorite games, Fortnite, and who knows, if you play Fortnite too, I might just be playing Fortnite with you. So make sure to follow me on Twitch TV slash Mackenzie and Marie and come to the live stream today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel down below, turn the little bell button on so you can be notified the next time I upload a new YouTube video because I want you to be here first. And if you want to, you can follow me over on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, or Twitch at Mackenzie Marie because when I'm not over here, I'm definitely over there and you should be. Me too. I love you guys so much and I will see you here in my next video. Toodles!